hi so in this video I will continue uh, with the IVP okay initial value problem so we are still in undetermined coefficient but now we proceed to another topics which is initial value problem okay I believe um, all of you already heard about this IVP in homogeneous video right because IVP also have in the homogeneous punya video before this and now we want to solve the IVP problem for the non-homogeneous okay so the method still undetermined coefficient but if you still or if you uh, what we call uh, already watched the previous video so I already mentioned that the objective to or the objective of uh, IVP is to find out the value of the A and also the B okay A and B right okay so now okay I have a question here so for example okay, example eh? okay example um, by using the method okay this is the example um, by using the method of Coefficient, coefficient. I sorry, undetermined coefficient. Undetermined coefficient. Find the solution. Okay, the general solution or solution is the same thing lah. Solution of the given IVP. Okay, I just use the short term lah. So IVP, so initial value problem, okay, for the equation y double prime plus 4y equal to x square plus 3. And have initial condition given here is y not or y0 equal to 1 over 2 and also y prime 0 equal to 4. Okay, right, so you can see that if the equation is uh, regarding IVP or initial value problem, they must have these two extra things uh, dia akan beri ada dua equation kat sini ha, maksudnya ada maklumat tambahan dia akan bagi so this is this, uh, this is what we call as IVP or initial value problem ok basically benda yang sama cuma you have another extra things that you need to do which is you need to find the value for A and also for B ok so this is your equation ok this is your function right so now first step ok same thing, step 1 nanti step 4 benda yang sama, which is step yang sama okay, so you need to find out your M first so you need to make it is homogeneous equation okay, so this is M square plus 4 equal to 0 therefore your M square equal to negative 4 your M equal to plus minus 4 which is plus minus 2 I okay, so therefore this is the homo uh, complex conjugate right, okay, so then after that um okay so you can write write down your yh lah terus okay your h now is e power of 0 okay tak adalah e tu so a cos 2x plus b sin 2x okay so this is a complex conjugate okay complex conjugate okay now step number 2 is to find your yp right so your fx just now is a polynomial Okay, your fx is a polynomial, okay? So, means that your yp is either in the row 1 or row 2. Okay, you can refer to your table 2.2. So, which one that you will choose? Okay, your row, uh, if we use a row 1, row 1 said that your m1 not equal to what? Not equal to 0, right? And m2 also not equal to 0. So, your m1 here, the first one is 2i, the second one is negative 2i. Is it equal to 0 or not? Not right, okay, it's not equal to zero, therefore you will choose the row number one. And row number one is a2x square plus a1x plus a not. Okay, I want to highlight here. Maybe, maybe, eh? maybe some of you will will choose your yp is um, sine or cos. Maksudnya you tengok nombor 6 dengan nombor 7. It's wrong, totally wrong. Saya cakap macam ni because it based on my experience because it's uh, some students it feel like if they have I it's terus 
tengok pada 6 dengan 7 which is the root is in term of i right for number 6 and number 7 is not not that one okay because of what we do first is you need to refer to you fx kalau fx you bukan cos dengan sine maksudnya you bukanlah pilih untuk row nama 6 dengan 7 tu bukan okay you kena tengok pada you punya fx bukan pada root maksudnya it's come uh, i mean the first one is fx then baru you tengok root okay so i i I, maybe some of you lah Saya tak cakap semua tapi mungkin ada So please make sure you can Differentiate carefully because of You want to look at, at your fx Okay Look at your fx first baru tengok m Ataupun roots you okay Alright so therefore this is your yp The correct yp that you should Choose okay So this is step number 2 So for the step number 3 Okay we need to find yp prime and also yp double prime. Okay, so yp prime is here is 2a2x plus a1. Okay, yp double prime is 2a2. Alright, okay, after that, you substitute back into the equation. Your equation just now is y double prime plus 4y equal to x square plus 3, right? Okay, so substitute back here. Okay, kejap. Alright, so I will continue this video later.